Neil, uh, first of all, could you just talk us through how this, how you've come to Inverness? Yeah, um, well, it started off with, with Scott just giving me a, a little ring last week. Um, I was actually going to cover Rangers TV at the time, and he, he, he rang me up and just asked me, um, explained some of the situation regarding John and surrounding John, um, and said that uh, John would be having to just take a, a, a wee bit of time off and whether I would be interested in uh, taking over the position. Well, John got himself sorted and was ready to come back. Now, obviously, there's, there's certain commitments that I had um, uh, arranged um, and things I had committed to, so it wasn't an easy decision. I needed a wee bit of time to think over that. Um, and one of those considerations was the, that I actually, if possible, would have liked to have uh, spoken to John um, and I was delighted that I was able to do that because uh, it was just great to speak to him he's, 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 a, he's, a, he's a close friend of mine um, I know sometimes in football you meet friends and teammates uh, and you can sometimes separate and don't talk to each other for a wee bit but I feel in your career you've done something really special which you did in 1998 my time at Hearts those bonds tend to, to last a long time um, and I've spent many a long time on the phone with John, uh, and as everybody knows, John can talk. But um, it was great to hear him. Um, I got an idea on the side, the set up here. I know there's really good people at this club, um, and he was really encouraging to to myself in terms of wanting me to come in and help, and uh, that was important to me. So I managed to make a few calls. Um, we got things sorted out in terms of my uh, responsibility coming into the club and uh, yeah here we are I'm excited but I'm actually I'm just keeping John's seat warm um, I'm hoping that I can come in and make an impact to the team I think a good team uh, some really good players within it and the one thing that stuck out for me is that I right hard working group so I'm hopefully going to come in not to change radically um, because I think John and the coaching staff are doing some really good work here I think it's important that I put a wee bit of myself into the team. I'll have my own demands on the team and what I expect. And um, yeah, hopefully start off well. How vital were those conversations with Scott and John in making your decision? Uh, they were, they, they, yeah, they were, they were, of course they were vital because it's, um, you know, I've known Scott a wee while now and Scott was very honest with me and very frank in terms of uh, the situation I was coming into. Um, personal stuff then that's between him and John but um, he was he's very upfront about everything uh, it's nice to know that you know you've been approached for this type of position I'm pretty certain that this would have been a really attractive position for a uh, for a lot of people so I'm quite proud of the fact that Scott's come to me John wanted me and uh, and indeed the club sanctioned it to bring me in so the conversations between John uh, and Scott were crucial to me because I wanted to make it absolutely crystal clear that I'm not in here in any way, shape or form as to take John's job, um, even if it, it went really well. I'm in here until John's feeling ready to come back, and whether that's weeks um, or towards the end of the season, he knows that I'm going to give everything for him here. Um, and when he's ready to come back, then hopefully the team's in a good position. When you got your first uh, COVID test, so you're now legal to be able to work in the football. And um, how, how have you found your first sort of day? Meet, have you met some of the players and had yeah. conversations? Uh, it's been a busy day. What we're now, uh, it's come up 20 past four. We've been in since very early this morning. The players have been coming in for recovery stuff after the match last night. Um, they worked really hard against their United and then uh, Aloha last night. So it's important that they try and recover as good as possible. So it's been great for me actually because it's allowed me just to pull them in and just have a wee chat to them, introduce myself, talk about what I would expect from them, what I'm going to demand from them, uh, ideas of possibly maybe how they're going to play. Um, but just really just familiarise myself around the, the club and just get a feel for it. Uh, the COVID test wasn't uh, wasn't pleasant, I have to say. Um, but the good thing is I'm, I'm available for selection, shall we say. Um, good to go. And uh, really that's the mo most important thing that I can get to work. It's, it's always difficult when you start off a, a new job, no matter what you're doing, because you need to come in and you need to feel comfortable with an environment. And I have felt comfortable. Got a good group here, Barry, 
uh, and Ryan, um, we took the team last night, um, so they're ahead of the game, they can give, them, give me information, and that's going to be really important for moving forward. And as a coaching team, um, we'll try and get on the grass with the lads, implement what I want to do, um, and then really, it's like everything else, as soon as I cross the line, I'm hoping that they can go and carry that out and get a result. Neil, thank you very much, that cheers. Very welcome.